Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install World Edit for Minecraft single player. This is not for a Minecraft server. If you want to install World Edit on Minecraft server, it's a completely different process. But if you want to use World Edit in Minecraft single player, this video is going to show you how to do it in Minecraft 1.16.2. We'll go over everything from getting Forge, which is required for World Edit, to then installing World Edit, adding it to the Minecraft, all that stuff. It's all going to be covered here. First and foremost, well, we do have a more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Should you want to start a Minecraft server to add World Edit to it, you can do that with Apex. Apex Minecraft hosting. They're absolutely incredible. We love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them, and they are truly the best place to be on our Minecraft server with great security, amazing uptime, like 99.999% uptime. And on top of that, they have incredible 24 hour, seven day a week support with amazing usability. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, Apex Minecraft hosting is the perfect place to go. Check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown, .xyz slash Apex. Get an awesome Minecraft server. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. But you want World Edit in single player Minecraft, so let's go ahead and get it. What you want to do is go to the second link down below, which is actually going to take you here. This is our in-depth tutorial for getting World Edit in Minecraft single player. Some people say I go too fast in these videos. I get it. I do talk fast. But if that's the case, you want to go at your own pace, you can use this tech tutorial to do it. It's going to walk you through everything I'm walking you through in the video, but it's, uh, you know, I don't know. Video's, video's fun, right? That's why you that's why you search this on YouTube, not Google, to, to find this, because video's better. It's just better. So anyway, if you're watching this video, click on the green download button here. And it'll take you off to World Edit's official mod page. But before you start slapping download buttons, wait. Because if you click download right now, it is not going to get you the right version. What you want to do is click on the Files tab here. Then once you've clicked on the Files tab, it's going to take you here where you want to come down here to where it says Recent Files and find World Edit Forge for MC 1.16.2. Again, you want to make sure it says Forge for 1.16.2. And that's that very first version in this case. It might be the second version, it might be the third version, but in this case, it is the very first version, Forge for MC 1.16.2. Go ahead, find that version, come over here to the right-hand side, and click on the purple download button to the right. That's then gonna take us off to World Edits Download kind of landing page here, where in the bottom left down here, we will have, as you can see, World Edit-Forge, where we can keep the file. You'll need to save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now, we aren't done downloading just yet. We need to download Forge as well. Forge is required for World Edit. You can find this at the third link down below. This is actually our in-depth tutorial for Forge as well, but I'm going to be showing you how to get Forge in this video, but if you do have any issues, this in-depth video up here or this tutorial could help you troubleshoot some of those. I'm going to help you with one or two, but overall, all, you can use these tutorials if you have any bigger issues with Forge. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the Download Forge button. You take us off to Forge's official website. Now, once you're here, you want to make sure Minecraft 1.16.2 is selected. As you can see, it's not because it says MC 1.15.2. If that's the case, come over here to the left-hand side, click on plus 1.16, and then click on 1.16.2 there. Then you'll see MC 1.16.2 appear here, where you can then come under Download Latest and click on the Installer button. Now then take us off to add focus where stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Don't click a single button on this page at all except the red skip button in the top right. The only button you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. Do not, I repeat, do not click any download buttons or anything like that. Just click the red skip button in the top right right up here. After you click that red skip button, you can go ahead and come down to the bottom left if you're on Google Chrome and click keep. As long as it says forge-1.16.2, you are good to keep the file. Same thing with Mozilla Firefox in the server screen. You'll be asked to save it. As long as it says forge, you can keep the file. If it doesn't, click cancel, stop the download, whatever, and then click the red skip button in the top right to get forge. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And on our desktop, we have World Edit and, of course, we have Forge, both of which are needed. Now, these files look different from you. for you. That's perfectly fine. But before we go try to fix them, Let's see if we can open up Forge. That's where we're going to be starting. By the way, if these aren't on your desktop, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. Click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, but that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, and then type in downloads. You have downloads file folder in Windows, and then in here, you'll be able to find Forge and World Edit. You can drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Nevertheless, once these are on your desktop, we're going to start with Forge. So go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With. Click on Java if you have it and click OK. But if you don't have Java or if these don't look correct, these don't look like these Java files, right? They don't have these Java logos. They have a book logo. They have just a piece of paper or something like that. Well, in that case, you want to go ahead and come here. This is how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. World Edit being a Minecraft mod, you need this version of Java to run it. So come here, download Java, get it installed. It's up to over 1.4 million people get the correct version of Java in three simple and easy steps. 
Once you've got Java set up, then go try to open up Forge. If you can, awesome, continue on with the tutorial. If you can't, you need to run the jar fix. This is gonna make all the .jar files in your computer work with Java, kind of linking them together and making them work perfectly. So this is kind of the last step. And then finally, you'll be able to right click on Forge, click on open with and click on Java and click OK. Again though, you only need to do that if Java wasn't there originally. But nevertheless, once you've opened up the mod system install for Forge here, just click on install client and click OK. Boom, it's now downloading, doing some things, getting everything it needs to get Forge installed and working with Minecraft 1.16.2. It's doing all that right now. When it is finished, it's gonna freeze right here at the end. It does this every time, don't freak out. It's really weird, I don't know why it does it, but eventually it will come up and tell you that Forge has been successful. It froze for so long and then it works. But anyway, successfully installed client profile Forge version 1.16.2, that means it works. As long as it says successfully or successful in some way, it works. Then go ahead and click OK. It'll close out of Forge there, and now we can move on to getting World Edit installed. You can delete Forge. Sometimes it won't let you delete Forge, like right after you install it, that's okay. Delete it later after you restart your computer, you'll be good to go. But nevertheless, World Edit is here on our desktop. Now, to get it into Minecraft, what we want to do is open up the Minecraft launcher. Now, when you open up the Minecraft launcher here, you might have Forge already selected. So in the bottom left, I already have Forge selected. It says 1.16.2-Forge. We're good to go. I can click play. If you don't have that down there in the bottom left though, click on that little arrow there to the left of the play button, that little arrow. And then in here, you should have this Forge profile. It should say 1.16.2-Forge under it. And if it does, click on it, click play. But what if it doesn't? What if it doesn't say 1.16.2-Forge? Or what if you don't have this Forge profile at all? You're like, Nick, it didn't work. I don't have a Forge profile at all. Well, if that's the case, no worries. You need to click on the Installations tab up here at the top of Minecraft. And then you wanna click on the plus new button right here. Then you can name this whatever you want, but I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why well, am I naming it that? Because this is our own incredible Minecraft 1.16.2 server. We have Green Protected Survival with incredible, incredible medieval survival, having 30 custom quests and a player-based economy, and amazing aquatic survival as well with a slash shop-based economy. Incredible community, MCMO, so much there. Custom factions, small 10-player team-based factions, super competitive, super fun, super PvP-focused. It's amazing. And then you have custom skyblockers receiving a huge update very, very soon. It has custom islands, OP enchantments, and so much more. Come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now for version, we're going to click on this version drop-down box here, and then we want to find release 1.16.2-Forge. Right there it is for me. I have multiple ones. Always click the one closest to the top. You may have to scroll down a bit to find yours. Sometimes it's at the very, very bottom of the versions list, so you can look down there if you can't find it. But nevertheless, once you find release 1.16.2-Forge. Click on that. I'm going to change your resolution because we're making a video and you all want to be able to see in game. And then click create. Now we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile here at the bottom. It has 1.16.2-Forge under it. And because it has all that, we can go ahead, hover over it, and click on the green play button. Now Minecraft 1.16.2 is going to open up with Forge. And guess what? The hard part is over. It's just easy sailing from this point forward. Now, I did forget to clear out my mods folder. So just enough items is going to be installed here. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just simply forgot. But I'll show you what to do you don't have any mods installed here as well. The process is the same whether you have mods installed or you don't when you start this. I'm assuming you don't, but nevertheless, once we are on the Minecraft main menu here, we want to click on the mods tab, right? So from the Minecraft main menu, click on the mods tab. Now you should just have Minecraft and Forge here. I have just enough items because again, I messed up. Sorry about that. But anyway, you should have a Minecraft and Forge here. Click on open mods folder in the bottom left. And then once you open up your mods folder, it'll look like this, where all you want to do is take World Edit from your desktop and drag and drop it into your mods folder. So again, take World Edit from your desktop, drag and drop it into your mods folder. Now if you come back to Minecraft, it's not going to appear. It's actually never going to appear here until you click Quit Game. And then you go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher again. This time you don't have to worry about doing any of that fancy stuff or anything. Just click in the bottom left, select the profile you created or the one that says 1.16.2-Forge under it, and then click Play. Now, when Minecraft loads up, you'll actually be able to see World Edit is mentioned in the startup process. So as you can see, boom, loading, there it is, World Edit dash Forge MC 1.16.2. That means it has worked correctly, and at least it's recognizing the mod. It, at this point, might not install. It will, though, because you went through this tutorial and everything. But nevertheless, that doesn't always mean the mod's going to work, but in this case, it is going to work perfectly fine. So it's going ahead, making World Edit recognize all the Minecraft textures, doing everything it needs to do, making Minecraft install World Edit, and Forge together. And then once we're on the main menu, there's a few ways we can test to see if we have World Edit. The first is obviously clicking on the Mods tab here, and there it is. World Edit is installed. World Edit is an easy to use in-game editor, World Editor for Minecraft supporting both single and multiplayer. This is the single player version. As you can see, World Edit is there. We are good. However, another way is just jumping into Minecraft, right? Jumping into a world. Now this is my test world. I forget, I forget if this has mods in it. If it says like 
corrupt or something. That's because there were mods in here. We deleted those mods, and now those mods are back. But anyway, we didn't. So anyway, once we are in game here, we can do splash slash wand, right like so, and we will get a world edit wand. Our render distance is just horrid right now. Let's go ahead and turn that up a little bit, get some more visibility going. But nevertheless, once we are in game here, we can go ahead and do things like replace all of the sand right here with emerald blocks. So we can go ahead and do slash slash replace sand emerald block. Boom. Right like so. We are now in a sea of green. <laughs> awesome stuff there. And you can also do things like, you know, copy stuff. So we can go ahead and copy this building. Right like so. Copy there. This is not going to be a clean copy, by the way. It's going to look horrible. But we've made that selection by left-clicking and right-clicking, position one and position two. We can then do slash slash copy. And then we can come over to here and paste this right like so. Slash slash paste. Boom. And there it does appear. But it's floating and it was a bad copy, so we don't like that. So we can do slash slash undo and it goes away. <laughs> but there you have it. That is how you can install World Edit in Minecraft single player. We have some dedicated World Edit tutorials that you can find on the channel. However, overall, World Edit is pretty simple to use. Copy, paste, replace, those are the, some of the best commands that I personally use all the time with World Edit. But they're all brushes and more in-depth stuff that we will have videos coming up on very, very soon. We just recently did a video on schematics with World Edit, which yes, that means you can copy and paste things and add them back in with schematics in World Edit 1.16.2, giving you 1.16.2 schematic ability. But nevertheless, if you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. I hope you do enjoy World Edit for Minecraft 1.16.2. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.